guys! So today I am going to be doing a book haul for you and I'm really excited about this one because it is a complete series but the series that I've got, like the collection, is a really unique collection that I've never seen before. Um, so let's get into it. So I, if you have watched some of my vlogs, you would have heard me say that I had gone into a bookstore here in Australia called QBD one um, afternoon on my way home from work and I saw a miniature version of the Throne of Glass series and their miniature books and I immediately fell in love with them and knew that I had to have them. So they were like $20 a book in store and to me that seemed a little bit pricey for how small they were um, so I did shop around and um, the cheapest I could find them was on Booktopia so um, most of the books were about $15.95 and then there were two books that were $17.95 um, so still up there in price but cheaper than what I had seen them in the bookstore so Let's get into that. Um, you'll have to excuse me, I've got my blinds open in my bedroom and I can see the main road and there's just some odd person standing out near the church next door to my house and he causes trouble in my area, let's just put it that way. <laughs> Um, so anyway, let's get into the actual books. So this is the entire series right here. These are amazing. Like, look how cool these are. They're so tiny. So let's get into the books, shall we? So this is the first book. Um, so The Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. This is what they look like. They are, like I said, quite a small book. And this is called the Miniature Character Collection. So it does say it on the front cover here. And these have that sort of like matte sort of velvety texture to it. It isn't just a cardboard cover. It's not like a hardback or anything. Um, but it has like a matte sort of finish to it. With that. It's got that like softy sort of touch. Um, one thing I will say though is, is when you buy these books... Um, if you buy them in person, just check them over to make sure the books are okay. Obviously, if you're buying them online, you don't really get that choice. Because this first book that I received, um, they, obviously when the people were making the book, whoever was making it has had glue on their fingers and they've touched the, um, the cover and there is glue across the top. On the back here like I can feel it you can see it very vaguely um, there's also glue down the bottom here and then on the front of the cover there's glue at the top and then a little bit down the bottom as well only this one book but just keep that in mind um, it's a little bit irritating that obviously someone didn't care enough to wipe their hands before touching a book but I'm not gonna bother you know, saying anything about it because I just, I honestly can't be bothered. But this is really cool. Um, so each book does have its own colour. So on the back of the cover, um, you will have to forgive me. I've never read this series, so I don't know how to pronounce a lot of the names in the series. Um, so please, if you do know how to pronounce them correctly, just let me know down in the comments below. But each book has a different coloured ink that represents the character that the book represents, right? So for instance, this one says, um, is it Selena? I don't know if that's how you pronounce the character's name, but celebrate Selena with this special miniature edition featuring her name highlighted in the Rift Hole Violet ink. And so when you open the book, the end page looks like this. So it's this beautiful uh, purple colour. And you have, let's see, the map as well on the inside. Let me just get to that. Um, so that's what that looks like. And then when you get to the actual story itself, this is what it looks like. 
So down the side of the page it has these purple sort of detailing and then the character's name, I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera because it is quite small font, but the character's name in the book is highlighted in the Rifthold Violet ink, so it's purple. And that is that way throughout the whole entire book. Now these are quite small font, um, so it's not like a large print, it is a very small font to read, so this might not be the best book to read at night time in like less light. And another thing I will say is, is the paper is really soft and buttery, but it's that really thin paper that I've often seen used in Bibles. Um, so it's like that really, really soft, thin paper. So that's the first book. Um, I just, I love it. I really do. Um, so the second book is obviously Crown of Midnight. And this one looks like this. And this one, um, the colours change again. So this one says, celebrate Dorian with this special miniature edition featuring his name highlighted in the Ardolan Crimson ink. And then so when you open the end pages, it is in red. And then the font, um, let me see. Okay, so then you have on the inside of this one, the red detailing down the sides, which is slightly different to the first book. And then Dorian's name. Um, let's see, Dorian's name is also in the red, um, which I, I really love that touch to these books. So there's that one. The next one is Air of Fire. Uh, so that's what it looks like. Please do excuse the noise outside. Um, and then this one says, celebrate Rowan with this special miniature edition featuring his name highlighted in Terracin Green Ink. So you, again, you have the green end pages. And then you have, um, let's see. I'm trying to find a page with his name. There we are. Okay, so then you have the green detailing on the side. You also have it on the top of the beginning of a chapter. And then his name highlighted in the green as well. And they um, really did put a lot of detail into like these little books. The next one is Queen of Shadows. Um, this one is... Um, Manon and Manon has um, his name, like, I don't know, it's her, no, sorry, her, Manon, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm so sorry, but um, her name is highlighted in Cochrane Red Ink. So you have this kind of like burgundy sort of end pages. You have the. Let's find a page with her name on it. Um, I'm actually really excited to read this series. I know this series has been out a long, long time. Um, I'm trying to find a page that has her name. Seriously, not finding one. Just gonna... Ah, here we are, found one. So the this one has like a burgundy sort of swirl detail on the side and then her name is highlighted in that sort of copper and red ink. So there's that one. The next one is Empire of Storms. So this one is Lysandra and her name is highlighted in Caravia Okra ink. So the inside is this bright red and, I mean, bright orange, sorry, end pages. And then um, the, where is it? Just trying to, okay. And then you've got the orange sort of detailing on the pages, on the sides, and then her name is in that color as well. The next one will be Tower of Dawn, and this one is 
is it Kale? C H A O L? Kale? Um, his name is highlighted in N ticker blue ink. The N pages are obviously blue. And then the map is different in this one as well. So that is the map. And then you have the beautiful blue detailing on the sides as well as his name highlighted in that blue as well. The next book, and it's also the biggest book, is Kingdom of Ash. And it's this beautiful sort of goldy yellow colour. And this one is Aelin. Her name is highlighted in Orinth Gold Ink. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so you've got these sort of goldenrod kind of coloured end pages. And then you have the same sort of colouring and the detailing on the side of these pages are actually really beautiful and that is what it looks like there as well. And then the very last book is the novellas, so the um, Assassin's Blade and this is what it looks like. And this one says um, Sam's name is highlighted in Avery River Teal ink. And this is, I think, the smallest book of them. And it's got this beautiful teal coloured end pages. And then you have um, the beautiful teal like detailing on the side and Sam's name highlighted in them as well. So that is all of the books. And I just think this is, like, if you're a fan of Sarah J Maas, and her work, I think this is definitely a collection that's well worth having. Um, I've never, like I said, read The Throne of Glass. I have read some of her other books. But um, I have wanted to read this series for such a long time. And I honestly cannot wait to read them. Like, I do have some time off work coming up um, starting next week. So I do plan to start Throne of Glass um, this month. So... This is going to be really cool and I just think these, even if it's just, if you just want them as like collector's editions, I think they look absolutely stunning like this on your shelf and these are published by Bloomsbury as well. Um, so, you know, it's such a, such a nice, um, like collection I really do believe that this is if you're a fan of hers that this would be something that would be worth getting um even I know like it probably seems so far away but Christmas this would be such a beautiful Christmas um, gift to give someone um who is a fan of hers or even just a fan of books in general so anyway guys that is everything I really really hope that you enjoyed this um, I will leave a link to Booktopia which is where I got these from and I'll link it down below because they're the best price that I have found them here in Australia. Um, I'm honestly not sure what the prices are in other countries but here that's the best place to get them from. Um, so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!